Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse, somehow. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse? You're kidding me. Did you just set that Aperture Science thing we don't know what it does into an Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Oh, that core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you think. Vice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It makes shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. Do you smell something burning? <laughs> oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is... In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me, unfortunately. I can't. Neurotoxin into your head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the companion king. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends because of how unlikable they are. It says they're right here in your personal file. Unlikable, liked by no one. A bitter, unlikable liar whose passage shall not be mourned. Shall not be mourned. Perfect. Neurotox. So deadly. Joking. I'm kidding. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was in massive sarcasm quote. I could take a bath in this stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right into your eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less fun. Who's going to make the cake when I'm gone? You. Look, you're wasting your time. Don't believe me. What's your point, anyway? Survival. Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Which is just about to. Don't believe me? Yes, yeah. I'll put you on. That's you. That's how dumb you sound. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so long? Are you trying to escape? Things are... <laughs> What's... You're making me feel back in here. 
I have an infinite capacity for knowledge. And even I'm not sure what's going on outside. All I know is I'm the only one standing between us. And, um, I'm not sure.